Hello, this is Odoo 11 Essentials section number 2, Hands-on Odoo Backend. In this section, we are going to take a look at Odoo Backend Explained, setting up users and their permissions, exploring the apps menu of Odoo 11, debug mode and what it means in the Odoo Backend, fields and models in Odoo Explained, Odoo 11 Backend Explained. What you will learn in this video. First, we are going to create a Odoo database. Then, we are going to log in to Odoo. Third, set up your own user on Odoo. And last thing, we are going to install a module on Odoo. Creating a Odoo database. First thing we need to do is to open up a Ubuntu terminal. And then we are going to check the status of the Odoo service with this command. We see here that Odoo 11 server is up and running. Then we are going to create our database for our needs and we are going to fill out the fields that are required. For that we are going to need a internet browser and we are going to navigate to localhost port 8069 slash web slash database slash selector. Here I am going to click on manage databases. We are going to click on create a database, database name demo, email admin, password admin, country Germany, load demonstration data. Now we can see it's creating database. Ok, our database has been created. Now we are going to log in to Odoo. As we can see Odoo has logged us in right away but we are going to log out and then log in again just to check if we have the correct user and password. Ok, we have the demo database, we have admin for email, admin for password, we are going to click login and we are in. Set up your own user on Odoo. After we have logged in, we are going to click on the top right corner and select preferences on the user and we are going to enter our user details and then we are going to check if other languages are needed. So let's go, administrator, preferences. Here we can either change our password, we can change our language, we can set up our email here, admin at demo.com our time zone needs to be set up and our signature signature would be when we are sending mails out of Odoo we have a custom signature below the mail we just put kind regards administrator and we are going to save it after we have set up our own user we are going to install a new module we are going to click on the apps menu and then we are going to choose a module, example sales, and we are going to install it and see what's new after installing it. So let's do it. We see top here in the menu we have settings and apps. So we are going to select apps and we have the sales model. Here there is an explanation what this module does and what we are getting after we are going to install this module. So I am going to install it. Now it's loading, Odoo has installed our module, congratulations, this is our first module installed on the new database which is called demo. Here we see together with the sales we get the invoicing module as dependency, so let's check out sales. It says organize your sales activities with the sales management app. Here because we click the demo data we can see demo orders which are inserted into the Odoo database so that we can see them. We have products inserted as well. We are going to be exploring this module a little bit later.